Stadium, Wasteland, Neo Tokyo, Urban Central, and Forbidden Temple. Hey guys, how's it going, people? How yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry about that. It was probably a little too loud. Sorry about the clipping. All good. <laughs> All right. Welcome, people. It is time for some Indie Gaming League. Bringing you three series tonight. Some high-ish level stuff. And then actually quite excited to have one of the series is uh, like pretty low level, low ranked stuff. Like sort of uh, platinum, platinum-ish level which is really cool because, I, you know, these are people who are new to the game, learning it, and they're competing and getting out there. So so pretty pumped to be bringing that. Speed, maybe between series we can, we can, uh, we can find time to play. But it has to be said, people, 1v1ing me is now an item in the store. So you've got to use your gray bucks. You've got you to pay to 1v1 me. And the... And the rules, <laughs> there you go. Um, now I'm still trying to, I'm still conflicted about how to say your name. Is it Day Delo? Day Delau? Are you, ah, I forget you explained it to me once and I've forgotten. It irritates me. Good man, Speed, good man. So the rules of 1v1ing me are this. So if you if you redeem the item, I will one v one you on whatever server you are on, whatever's closest to you. But if I lose, you got to come play me on South African servers. Ha ha! Them's the rules. Lao. So that's the end. So it's day de Lao. Is that correct? To redeem, it's exclamation, redeem, space, 1v1. But don't redeem it now, because I can't play you now. All right, so, actually, we're going to go here. All righty. So, the first... Day de Lau. Excellent. Now, I can say your name with confidence. Um, coming up first is Room 32 versus Old Gamers, and I'll tell you about them. Room 32 are, it's an English, it's a 2v2, champ 1 level, so sort of early champ, mid champ level. Uh, we have an 18 year old Englishman and a 23 year old Pakistani up against old gamers who haven't given their age um, but from Wales and England. So, And uh, we've had the old gamers on here before, so keen to be casting them again. Um, and I should set up the lobby and let them know that it is up and ready. 
So what is happening with everyone else today? Everyone by and large okay? How the vaccinations going? You dudes getting your vaxes? I'm only I can only get mine in July, so I just have to try not die between now and July, and then I can get my vaccination. Ba, 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 ba. Mutators, so we need boost amount to be default and match length to be default to five minutes back. Good stuff. Okay, let's let them know. Let the teams know that the lobby is set up. I'm waxed, vaxed, and about to go on a vax. <laughs> nice one, day Dalau. But does that include you, Speed? Does that include you? Okay, so four minutes to go. Lobby's up. We're all ready. Let's see if the scoreboard works. Oh, my overlay. I don't know. I got this really nifty overlay. It was working fine, but it's not calculating the boost all the time. So bugger it. We're going to go old school. Oh, fair enough, speed. Oops. Day. Dade. Excellent. That, that simplifies things. Typical gamer, the answer to the question is yes, but the answer to your next question, which is when, that remains a mystery. Uh, maybe between series, but then you can't play in here. This is a pre-established uh, league. It runs over six weeks. This is the last week, so you can't play in this. Cody, lucky! Cody, I got a question. How did you know I was live? Did you get a notification on YouTube or notification from Discord? Because I, I put it in Discord specifically thinking of you and the problem you were having like last week or the week before. All right. Well, we got one team in. George, George Charlson. He's the 23-year-old Pakistani. And Juju who is the 18-year-old Englishman. And they together are room 32. And now we wait for old gamers to show up into the lobby. And then we can rawl. Typical gamer, I've now answered your question twice. I do remember you. And I'll answer your question a third time. You can't play tonight because I'm casting. And you can't play in this tournament because it's a pre-existing tournament. It wasn't set up by me. It's a private tournament that I'm just casting, if that makes sense. <laughs> Cody, that's awesome. I made it into If This Then That. Woo! <laughs> Eric, sliding into the chat just in time. So for those who have just arrived, this is a champ level 2v2. This is, I, this is the final week of the Indie Gaming League. From next week is the playoffs. And I don't know if I get to cast any of those. I don't know how they work. If they, if they still get to book their playoffs, I, I'm not sure. So this might be a few weeks off instant well what's the point of gratification if it is not instant okay we have the teams in 
Nice! Okay. All right. Let's have some champ level 2v2 Rocket League. I hope you're all ready. Panda Man's in the chat. Just in time to watch some competitive Rocket League. My only mod that doesn't actually play Rocket League. Okay, room 32 in blue. Old gamers in orange. They will begin at their leisure. The channel of Muzz is in. All right, he's going by his long name now. Normally, he's just OG Muzz. And Fenners. Is Fenners his partner? Have they got their... Uh... No, Skips. They've got their sub in. Skips. Juju now with an early shot and an early save. We remain at parity. Nothing all. Oh, nice work by George. I liked his control there. He does have enough boost. That's going to go over and wide. Juju collects boost, but can he get back for the save? Floating high in front, Juju does indeed get the clear. Oh, but the shot now from Skips. And it is the old gamers that are going to put in the early goal. The first goal. First blood. Nicely done. So their records are five games for Room 32. They have won four and lost only one. Old gamers are a game behind, so they're probably playing catch-up this week. Have only won one, and they have lost three, but they're ahead now, early on, despite the shot coming in there from George Charlson and the save. Hey, Fenners! Why are you not playing, Broski? I see you've been subbed out! George Charlson is going to level it up for Room 32. There you go, Panda Man. Easy, easy, easy claps. Rocket League is the easiest eSport you'll ever watch, bro. There's a blue team. There's an orange team. The blue team scores in the orange goal. The orange go team scores in the blue goal. They got five minutes to score more goals than the other. Piece of cake. Holy moly. Well, don't get stranded, uh, Cody. Oh, nice pass across to Juju. Up the wall. What does he do with this? Intercepted by Muzz. But George picks it up. Oh, I think he would want to have caught that and controlled it in. He does have the boost. Can he get a pass? He can't. Skips now. Has pretty much only got one to beat. Juju does enough to squirt it out to the side. So I guess indicative of the level, and I'm, and I'm going to talk about champ level like I'm any better, which I'm not. But we do see at the higher levels those attempts at least to control the ball close, keep it close and set up the shot. Where this tends to be a little bit more bang it hard and forward into the other side and then pick it up and do the best you can. Ah, okay, so, so Fenner's... Skips is the secret weapon. You're the public weapon. The well-known weapon. All right, here comes George. Nicely done. Nicely popped over. But Skips holds his ground and gets the block and the clear. Juju. Pass into the midfield. It's loose and high. George should get there first. He does look to control. He's up. Can't get the second touch. And so far, pretty equal stuff. Early goal from the old gamers returned fairly quickly by Room 32. And ever since, it's been pretty level, pretty even in terms of shots, in terms of possession. Let's have a quick look at the, uh, the game stats here. George has had three shots. So five shots from Room 32 and only one. The scoring shot from old gamers. So based on those stats, it seems that Room 32 have been the more aggressive of the two. Here comes Skips. Oh, the bounce dribble doing very well. And despite getting the demo, it did throw him off that final hook shot. 
attempted the goal. This is going to come off the backboard. Any oh, the demo. Nice play, but Juju so far back. I was going to say, couldn't do anything about it, but he has missed an open net and ran out of boost, so he retreated, feeling a little tense and nervous, as we all do when the boost runs dry. Less than a minute to go. Oh, we're going to head to overtime in game one. Skips gets it past. That is on target. And overtime seems a little unlikely, or rather a little less likely. Old gamers back in front. Again, through the work of Skips, the secret weapon of the old gamers, according to Fenners. And away they go. Kickoff number four. Room 32. Got us. Can they level up? 45 seconds to do it in. Juju gets it past one, but not by Skip. Skip's doing an admirable job in defense in this game. Positioning himself well when he needs to be back. Always seems to be there to get, to get the block, get the touch, get the clear. Can he get it now? Juju off the back wall. George is coming in, but he turns around probably wisely at the last second. Worried about being chipped and being taken on the counter with 15 seconds to go. You kind of just want to... No, I beg your pardon. They do need to be more aggressive. And more aggressive they are through George Carlson. Gets his second. Passes to himself in the middle. Does very well. Muzz caught a little bit neither here nor there on in the center of the goal, on the goal line. George gets it above him. We are level. And... Oh, over time, pretty damn likely. Oh no, is this going to be a zero second? No, it isn't. It's going to be a one second to go goal by the channel of Muzz. Muzz OG, the OG Muzz. Across the field. Party time balloons erupt as they take a 3-2 lead. That'll be very frustrating for Room 32. Game one ends. Old gamers take the lead. Good on them. Good on them. And now we go to Urban Central at dawn. What should we do, night or dawn? Night, dawn, night. No, I like dawn. Okay. Let's go. Game number two. Four shots versus a few more from Room 32. They would have hoped to have scored more of those shots. But maybe they do it now. Let's go. And away they go. Oh, Juju's going to have an early shot. He gets it immediately off kickoff. Three seconds in. Room 32. Boom. In front. That'll make them feel a little bit better. Get the uh, disappointing loss of the last game out of their heads. I've just realized that the old gamers are both sporting decals from pro teams one from nrg and the other from oxygen so not even the same pro team which is interesting dragetta it was pretty good it was very tight the winning goal was scored one second from time and then the opening goal in this game three seconds after the start juju oh my goodness i for a second thought he was going to put that into his own net he doesn't and now he's got an attack passes it across george not there to pick it up and maybe a little bit too hard and wide for george to get onto it but this one is going to be cleared oh nice intercept and redirect by skips is going to give an opportunity now juju up to it oh this is a little loose a little risky george Looking to take his time. I'm interested to see if he's from Pakistan. What is his ping? 44. Okay, he must be a Pakistani living in the UK, though. With that ping. George, this is... Oh, my word. He got away with absolute murder there. 
the ball going sailing over him. He didn't read the the save. And it looks like George Carlson got away with the homicide. They still maintain the lead. A lot of game to go. Three minutes remain. Another shot by George. The save by Mads. It's loose, but Skips gets it over. He's done that several times, chipping the last man. George Carlson having to rush back in defense. Does very well. Now they've got an open net. Can they get there quick enough? Does he read the rebound? Indeed he does. One apiece. Two goals for room 32. They look determined to take game two and level the series up. Lucas, welcome back. Good to have you. Kick off three. Room 32 looking very strong this game. Juju going to have the, well, not sure what to call that. Let's call it a touch forward after kickoff. Nice intercept from George. He's got an open net. Can he get this read? It's off the crossbar and away and skips. Completes the clear. Mars is up and sailing past the ball. Got a good view of it as he sailed over it. George, can he get the double? Oh, he does, but it squirts high enough. Juju wisely backs off, looking for a better opportunity before committing himself. My goodness, Juju. He backed off, waited, popped it up. Lovely follow. And again, the channel of Muzz. No man's land in the middle of his net on the goal line, giving Juju far too much time and space to get that shot. He should have been attacking that far more aggressively. And now an uphill battle, which just became a steep uphill battle. George Charlson, not content to be behind on goal scored, gets his second two apiece for room 32. And they have this game by the throat. I think they would ha actually have to work quite hard to lose it from here, but I have put in that kind of work in the past, so let's not write anything off just yet. Lucas, we'll see how the night pans out. It's Lemon! That's, my, that's as good as my YouTube impression gets. Hello, Lemon. Welcome to chat. George now down into the middle. Channel of Muzz gets there. It's loose and high in the middle. Skips having a shot. Nice save from Juju. Room 32 doing very, being very organized this game. George Charlson nearly putting off a great shot. He does get there in the end for his third. He gets his hat trick. Room 32 running away with it. Little tap off the rebound, follows it in the air. The tap into the goal ensures five goals. Nice vocals. You're too kind, Lemon. Far too kind. Jojo having some defensive work to do. He does it well. Must now gets it into the middle. Skips looking for the shot, but George Lucas does what George Lucas had to do and gets it clear. To answer your question, Lucas, I'm not sure if we'll play. I'm normally pretty pooped after casting. There's only three tonight, so maybe we'll see how we go. Juju looking for the pop over the channel of Muzz. Doesn't get there. Can he get the pass in? They're going to have to... Well, look, I... I mean, if the, for them to get five goals, it's almost throw all caution to the wind. Become complete ball chasers and see what you can get. I don't see any other way. They don't really have time to... They have zero time to establish an attack forward, figure out some passing plays, be patient. At this point, I think they would be happy if they just scored one. Well, George Charlson now on a tear, running away with it. Four goals for him. Two for Juju. Six for Room 32. They have made themselves a statement here. Our record ain't four wins and one loss for nothing. We know how to win series. I am casting hard. Okay, don't spam the hearts. I, 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 love, I love that you love it. But, you know, keep it under control there. 
Where are my views? How many people are here? Not too many, I assume. Only eight! Ten! Okay, it's not too bad. That'll be that. Room 32. Level it up. We're going to game three. Even Stevens. All right, just getting my shit together here. One winner piece, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Phew. All right, we go from here to... Forbidden Temple. Did I miss it already? Ah, bugger it. Let's go to Neo Tokyo. Neo Tokyo it is. Let's go, Commandos. It's howling time. Hey, Nathan, I'm sure you, you and many others want a 1v1, maybe after the series. But remember, it costs 150 gray bucks. So you have to redeem it. So if you, if you want a 1v1 between series, I suggest you redeem it now. Okay, this is Game 3 at Neo Tokyo. Everything to play for. Room 32 versus old gamers, and they're off. Well, you have to redeem it first, Speed. Oh! The touch away. Almost in there. Another save. Phew! Old game is a little on life support there for a second. The 50 is good. Oh, channel of Muzz drifting high over the ball. Now they're going to have to scramble back out of position. There's an open net. Juju chasing Muzz all around the field, trying to get the bump or the demo. Doesn't get either. Runs out of burst, and the attack comes to nothing. <clears throat> Muzz and Skips are being very polite out there. No, you take the ball. I insist. No, you take the ball. No, you take the ball. In the meantime, George puts it into the middle, but Juju hangs back just in case. Exclamation. Redeem. Space. 1v1 one one is how you redeem it. <clears throat> Juju. The pass, George. Pops it up. Oh, no. He's going to hit the crossbar. I'm not sure popping it up was the right option. I think a bang in there at 90 Ks an hour was the answer. Juju across, that's on target. Can he get there? Yes, he does. Skips rushing back, trying to get the clear away. Can't get back in time. Room 32 in front. There you go, Speed. Let's see if it works. Oh dear, maybe it's not working. Hold on, let me check it. Because you'd be the first people to redeem it, so I'll need to check. Al, what's up? Welcome. So they are in the lead, but not running away with it like they did in the last game. Only one goal. And you're always in it when it's just one goal. Skips is up, puts it high around the corner. It's going to land in front, but even though a double commit on the ball, it does squeeze it away and keeps them in the lead. Juju eliminated, but not before he got a touch, getting the ball away. Now, George looking to pass it around the corner, loses control of it. Skips will pick it up. George passes it back to Juju. Juju passes it up to Muzz. Muzz passes it back to Juju. <clears throat> hey Al, I'm good mate, how are you? I'll, after, after this game I'll sort out why my redemption ain't working. Oh! 
Demolished in the middle. All right, a minute 50 to go. Room 32 in the lead, but not in a dominating fashion like they did in this last game. Old gamers. Oh, I was going to say, just need to get themselves together. One game, you're all in. They're always in it. And they are most certainly in it now. Skips. High. Bangs the shot down. And the save doesn't get the ball out. Pretty much just squeezes it into the net. And we're all leveled up. Someone try any of the usual commands. I'm wondering if my bot is even working. Oh, no. Suddenly, almost out of nowhere, the old gamers are in the lead. Channel of Muzz, who's been struggling to connect with these aerial shots, makes no mistake there, bounces it over the last defender. The party balloons erupt again. And we are 2-1 to the old gamers. All right, fine. Well, the cloud bot is working. Oh, what's going on here? We had, we had one goal for so long. This game was seemed to be going nowhere. Suddenly, three goals in the space of about 30 seconds. Room 32 leveling it up. Level in games, level in score. Minute 23 to go. In the all-important game three, we have a tense game on our hands. Skips waiting for the ball to come down. Oh, missed by Juju. Skips. Oh, the ball still hadn't come down and Muzz, who has been so quiet, is suddenly all over the place, scoring goals, gets his second, third for old gamers, they retake the lead. Nathan, three today. Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Oh yeah? Hmm? Okay. channel of Muzz! Well, clearly, it takes about two games for the channel of Muzz to warm up with the touch, followed by a flick, bottom right-hand corner, the party balloons doing overtime. Old gamers now, flexing hard. Do it again, Speed. Oh, there's a cooldown period. Skips now! Old gamers! What are we seeing here? Old gamers were like behind the action for so much of this game and five goals have come seemingly out of nowhere and a minute to go, they look good to take series point by winning this game. All right, Speed, chillax, bro. I see you. And so does Eric. I think there's a cooldown period of like 10 minutes. Oh, no, I'm disconnected. No. Well, that was kind of weird, so <clears throat> my game disconnected for like 10 seconds. But we're back, no change in the score. Why am I having this shit? Alright. Well, we're back into it now. Nice work by George to kind of keep control, keep possession, but they're running out of time. How did they get three goals? They throw caution to the wind, get one now, and then two kickoff goals. There you go. Rocket League simplified by the Greybeard. Four seconds to go. Three, two, one. It's all over for Room 32. They lose Game 3. Old gamers go ahead with two wins and find themselves at series point. Poised to take only their second series of this season of the Indie Gaming League. We go to game four, room 32, got all the work to do. Okay, let's get right into it. Is this the last game? Is there one more? Do we go to Champions Field? That is in the hands of Room 32. Old gamers want to take this down right here, right now. But Room 32 going to come out hard. If they can replicate their performance of Game 2, 
they will certainly take it. They were unstoppable in that game. Can they figure out what they were doing in that game that made them so dominant? Pass now into the front. Channel of Muzz pops it out into the midfield. George trying to catch it. Lands that are bouncing over him. Now they're in a tricky position. Skips going for the goal line. Demo doesn't get it. Here comes Juju. Cut out by Channel of Muzz. Pops it down into the middle. Can Skips read it? Of course he can. And he comes up with a finish. Old gamers find themselves leading early in game four. Speed, we got you, bro. Take a breath. You, you will not lose out. All right. Here we are. The ball is loose in the middle. Juju's going to pick it up. Pops it up for himself. It's a little too strong, or he doesn't follow it up quick enough. That gives Muzz time to come forward with an attack. He's going to whiff now. Skips, last man. Very risky when they've got the lead to be chasing the ball that hard. Juju gets it over one. Skips, important defensive work to do. Does get the boom forward. Juju with the catch, with the follow. And the boost pickup in midfield. It's high and dangerous in front. Wonderful read. Wonderful finish from George Charlson. And we are leveled up. Oh, Muzz trying to get the clear off the backboard. Whiffs past it and leaves it open for George to wrap it up. One apiece. There we go. Eric Schroeder's written it down. Hey! Dittles Dane? Dittle, Dittles Dane? This is champ one. I'm just going to say Dane. Dane, this is champ one. George. Yeah, he likes to do this, and he, does, he doesn't do it well. Oh, my goodness, Skips! Oh, my word. He is going to be... Absolutely furious. It was a good backflip, but my goodness, it wasn't hard. It wasn't that threatening, and almost every time you'd expect to save that, but Skip, Skips whips it, and old gamers find themselves behind and potentially going to Champions Field to duke it out there. But these old gamers, very surprising, quiet for long periods, and then like we saw in the last game, Boom, boom, boom. Like almost out of nowhere, we see five goals coming. Channel of Muzz does get the clear. Juju, though, is going to have a crack at the goal. Does he get the touch? He does! Down off the crossbar. Close as anything, but now they've left their goal open. Skips going all the way. Does he get the final touch? No. He waits too long, pops it too high. George clears it. Oh, Juju eliminated from the field. Skips, can he get the follow and the touch? He does, but George again with the read for the clear. But suddenly, room 32 kind of backs against the wall. Lots of defensive work to do. Oh, Muzz misses the rebound off the backboard. George now, it's 2v1. The shot off the back. Oh, can Skips get there? He just has to get it on target. He does, and it goes all the way. And it has to be said, Room 32, a little risky with their play when they had the lead. And I don't know that they should have been so far up, so aggressive when they had the lead. They left themselves open and vulnerable for what just happened. Machij Krupa. You have to tell me how to say your first name. Ma Mashij? Oh, Channel of Muzz! Oh, wow, and now... The old gamers doing what they did before. Under pressure for long periods. Quiet for longer periods. And then suddenly, bang, bang, the goals. They come from behind, level it up, and now they take the lead. But for how long can Room 32 find the comeback? They don't want to go now. They want to at least get to Champs Field. The long distance pinch. 
channel of Mars can't save. And it is level again. Six goals. One minute 40 to go. A lot of goals and a lot of time left. A lot of room, a lot of space, a lot of time for more and more goals. <laughs> well, if you don't, I'm just going to call you Mr. Krupp. Mr. Krupa. Mr. Krupa had to thank me for his chance. Nice from Channel of Mars. It's on target. What a save from Juju. Keeps them in the game. Keeps them from being eliminated here on Wasteland. George pops it up with the follow, the touchdown off the crossbar and in. Nicely done. Minute to go. His team ahead. They want to take it to Champions Field. I like how this is turning out. My goodness, I thought we were going to have a right off kickoff goal. That would have been a little lame to a lame way to kind of start putting the kibosh on it room 32 again playing quite aggressively they've got the lead again they don't want to make the mistake they made before of playing too high up and uh, leaving their goal open at the back for the counter and for the old gamers to come and level things up muzz pumps it forward can he get it past george george has proven quite tough to beat in that final the final third toward the goal nice clear but double commit is going to keep the pressure on for the old gamers they've got 12 seconds to find a leveling goal juju clears it out that's on target skips can't get there room 32 bangs it in we are going to champions field The clock runs down, but we're pretty certain that the old gamers are going to concede this one. Room 32. Looking good, looking strong. They get their second win. The second win which they needed. We are going to Champions Field. Let's do this. Game 5. Do we see an overtime in Game 5? Let's do this. Ooh, look at this. Skips and George taking a bit of a bit of time to ready up. Eight shots, six shots. So a fairly even game overall, but room 32 pepping it. So old gamers took game one. Room 32, game two. Old gamers, game three. Room 32, game four. So the pattern is by the pattern. Room 32 take this game. I beg your pardon, it is old gamers would take this game if that pattern persists. But of course, they're looking to break that pattern. Channel of Muzz, he's, he, he's really cert like deliberate on that goal line. He waits and waits and waits. About three times I thought he was actually AFK on the goal line and then he moves last second. And I think he's giving the attacking team far too much time to set up a shot. Muzz, whoo. Oh, Skips looking for the shot. George gets in front of it, gets in the way. The 50 in midfield is going to go loose. Juju, though, will pick it up after he picks up first. Heading toward the goal. Backflip. Skips picks it up. Can he get this read off the wall? He's away. Everybody whips it. Juju clears it. Nathan, I know. A dog in a wall. Okay. A dog in a wall. I think Mr. Krupa was better, to be honest. Oh, this is high in front of the goal. Skips looking for the shot. He gets it. Oh, my. It bounced high and it looped slowly, agonizingly. And I thought it might hit the crossbar and bounce away. 
but it grazes a layer of paint from the inside of the crossbar and goes in. What what is your rank, Mr. Krupa? Channel of Mars pops it high up. Can he get on this? It's gonna come down off the goal. Oh, the double almost happens. It pancakes. It juggles. It does everything on the backboard except go down as a pass. And the reason I ask you what your rank is is often because I watch this and I'm about the same rank as these players. Skips gets the old gamers ahead for two, and so far it looks like the pattern is holding. Skips getting it home. Old gamers about to take the series if they can hold on. Yeah, thanks, Speed. And it's also very late where he is. Oh, the shot of the wall is going to come down off the crossbar and bounce away. So when I watch this as a champ one, I go, oh, I can play so much better than this. But that's the deception of watching Rocket League, is it looks a lot slower than it feels when you're actually playing it. And the players don't look as good as they actually are. So it is quite deceptive. Don't be fooled by the whiffs. I know if I was out there, I'd be struggling along with the rest of them. George now. Oh, can anybody get this? Reed skips does, gets it high up front. Old gamers content to just take their time, looking to control the pace of the game. They don't want to give any accidental possession to Room 32, allowing them to get back into it. Channel of Mars. Oh, nice follow on his pop-up, but Juju does what he had to do to get the touch away but they are under pressure and they need to be attacking they've got the time to find two goals but they have got to get out of their own half they do so now but for how long alexander the okay oh listen and that's why i like it alexander because it's easy that that's why i'm a better that's why i'm a better caster than i am a player if I may be so bold as to say I'm better at casting. Skips. Does nicely and well. George gets eliminated, but he does get a touch away. Juju, now they're running out of time. The clock pressure is going to start to tell. And it is still the old gamers with the bulk of the possession. Not allowing room, space, or breathing room. Oh, no! An ideal opportunity to get one of the two goals they need. They still have the chance. Oh, Juju, no. And that's what happens when there's clock pressure. Pressure in Rocket League. You take a shot that you would bang home any day of the week, all week, and you squirt it wide. Oh, then it still won't go in. And somehow Muzz gets a touch away. The old game is hanging on. But it is by the skin of their teeth. They've got just under a minute left to do it and take the series. Room 32 will be desperate to get possession of the ball, control it, and get an attacking play together. Oh, Juju, the pressure is telling on him. Playing very uncharacteristically with mistakes. George Carlson still trying to take his time, which is not a bad play. Pass to Juju. The shot is high up. Can he get the follow? He can't. And it just seems like nothing they can do this game is going to go right. Ten seconds to go. The old gamers are doing it for the oldies. Oh, they've done well with their touches in front. But it has to be said, so many opportunities for Room 32 were squandered. They panicked. They were rushed. And their record, they finished the season on four wins, two losses. Old gamers, two wins, three losses, and at least one game to go. Good game. Well played, old gamers. You take the series. All right, so, okay, Nathan, let's go. I'll invite you. Fenners, your boys done it. They done it good.
Oh, I got I got a I got a challenge to claim. Let's do it. Killer Knight. Sorry, the Killer Knight. What region are you, Nate? You have no friends. Yeah, okay, you you were plat three. Okay, I get it. Timothy Ennis arriving relatively early in the stream tonight, not right at the end. Well done. Asia. Okay, well, this is going to be fun. I think I get 360 ping in Asia. Um... All right, so we're going to... Oh, are you okay if we meet in the middle? Ach, you know what? The rules say I'll play on your server, so let's do that. Uh, Asia. So, will Asia mainland or Asia maritime be better for me? Let's try maritime. Let's go. Jason! Mr. Flip Reset, welcome to chat. Look, I'm no psychologist or anything, but I think uh, I think Fenders is happy about his team's performance. What's my ping? 355. Oh my god. And Nate has gotten better. So it's gonna be a hell of a struggle. Do you think you're talking? There we go. Speed's oh, yeah. redeemed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Holy moly. I can't see this. This is terrible. C22, what's up, dog? Uh, my rank in ones is like diamond two, I think. <laughs> I thought I won that kickoff. I did not. Aish. Wow. Woo! Got one back. Why does 1v1 hurt your head? Yeah, I haven't I haven't been um, I haven't been playing a lot of ones, which makes me sad because I like playing ones. Oh my word. Look at that. I oh my goodness this ping. I'm gonna complain about ping the entire game. Oh, Killer Nate like that. Watching the replay and all. No, we all know it's important, dog in the wall. We just hate it. We recognize its importance. It's just shitty to play. Woo! And did I did I beat you, Alexander? You must have had a different name then, because I don't remember Alexander the OK. Oh. It is impossible to win kickoffs. Here he comes. Never going to defend on this. It's like free play with a bot. I think you're looking at it wrong, Dade. you got to look at it like 
It's not with the bot though, because bots are shit. And uh, normally on 1v1s, the guy's at least about the same rank as you. How I got that, I'll never know. Yeah, you saw what I was going for there, right? And I thought he was closer. Get in. Woo, tight. <sighs> I find that hard to believe. Dane, I, there's a lot of excuses for not playing ones. Boring, I don't buy. Yeah, but Nate, you've improved a lot since then, bro. So I don't think I don't think I could beat you again on 600. I'll, I'm giving you a go at 350. Hey Morgan, what's up dog? Hey listen, you haven't been live much. You and Nikki, I was kind of looking out for you. No. No. I was in the lead. Oh my date and, and what's your what's your rank now? Oh. What's your rank, Dade? Yeah, okay, then I'll shut up. Any advice I give is pointless. I'm a champ one. Oh, this is so impossible. That is very sad to hear that you haven't been playing a lot. Oh, Killer Nate loves... Well, you know what? I'm going to have fun with him on my server. Dre is king! It costs 150 grey bucks, Dre. And we're not going to have time now. Because I'm going to be casting. Alright, Nate, we can do that. Yeah, well, that's that's fair enough. I know a guy who doesn't do it, so... Well, actually, I was going to say... He's actually a supersonic legend in one, so... But he doesn't do training packs. Oh, Morgan, that's a sadness. I was very keen... I, I wanted to hear your voice.
Get in there, bull. Thank you. Yeah, speed, it's probably gonna have to be after the next one. Yeah, I'm sorry, speed. And you know what? Morgan, we love you for it. have been investing in stocks chicken beef and vegetable one day i hope to become a billionaire lol that cody is so bad it is good but for the for the ten dollar super chat i thank you i thank you very very much and I will steal that joke too. <laughs> okay, let's go set up. Uh, Nathan, it'll have to be next time, bro. I don't have the time now to have the next game. You know what? Uh, let's play two minutes on my server, just so you get an idea of what it's like. Oh, shit. We need to... Okay, let's go. So let's see. Let's see how Nate does on 350 ping. Dude, there's no, there's no chance I'm going to do that. I'm not a mechanical player. I'm shit at this. So I've got seven, 16 ping, 15 ping. Whoa, 336. Okay, good luck, mate. Good luck. Watch him clap me. Oh, that's in. Oh, he got it. Wow. I'm impressed. Really? Just so you have an idea. <clears throat> you don't understand the joke. Okay, do you know what a beef stock is? Do you know what beef stock is? <laughs> Killer Nate, I feel you, brother. I feel you. All right, Nate, I won't put you through any more of it. I need to go and set up the other lobby and get that game ready. Okay, well, you need to Google. Somebody in chat help him out. I, I, uh, so when you're cooking, a beef stock is where... Uh, someone explain stock to him, please. Uh, second game coming up in seven minutes is Monkey 100 versus... Trash ticks. So, if we look at the scoreboard, and then I'll tell you about the teams.
So this is a three versus three. And this is sort of champ one, champ two level. So we have the trash techs who are 22, 30, so mid-20s to 30-year-old, pretty much from England and Belgium. And Monkey 100 are all from England. They're all 25. Well, they said mid-20s, so I'm putting them down as 25 and champ one. And then you can see the records up there. Monkey 100 has a five to nothing record. Trash Ticks, three to two. So they're, they're going to want to end on a high here. And of course, Monkey 100 would love to end the season undefeated. Are you asking, are you asking me what I like to eat? I've been on diet for eight weeks now. So I don't eat at all until 6 o'clock at night, and then I eat very, very little. So what I like to eat is almost anything. What I currently eat is almost nothing. Okay, I've got to kick you, Nathan. So we have monkey one, whoopsie. Oh boy. I can't type K, that is ridiculous. Hold on a second. Oh. Um, I bound something to K earlier, which was a stupid thing to do in retrospect. Uh, let's do that. Okay, good. Okay, good. Versus trash ticks. What? <clears throat> All right, let's get hold of these guys, Smiggles. And on the other team, we have Cashless Cake, which is an interesting name. All righty. So, lobby's up. We wait for them to arrive. No problem, Nathan. Thanks for staying up so late to play. We'll finish the game on my server the next time or when as soon as we can. Raccoons are tasty but hard to get. Fair enough. Well, listen, that actually happens if you just put in, if you just put in random passwords, you can sometimes join random lobbies. It's quite fun to do. I did that on stream once. George Ross, sorry, I missed you in chat, bro. I need to, I need to give you one of these. How are you, George? A musty cow did what? Oh, yes, that's right. We probably got the idea from him. He's the he comes up with all the cool ideas, and everybody else just follows. Welcome, Ginger Daddy. All right, everybody's here. We are ready to go. Um, well, I've got two more series to cast, broski.
So, champ one, champ two level, three versus three. Let's go, commandos. It's howling time. Peace out, Nate. The trees, dude. Your timing is never great. X James. Oh, early goal! Now he's gonna push it wide! I thought Monkey 100 were gonna press an early advantage. They might still. Fra Fragleg having to get a very, very important clear. The pass coming around the middle. Smeggles with an important touch. Cut out by Dara the Explorer. X James looking to finish it off and get it home. Doesn't get there. What? I do presentation about Musty on PE. As in physical education. Cashless cakes. It's going to come off the backboard. Smeggles while he gets a touch. Doesn't go very far. Bora's got a bit of work to do. Dora! Dora is up, but it comes to nothing. So, pressure early on from the monkeys. You can see why they've got their four to nothing, five to nothing win, win streak in the series. Quite pacey and very aggressive. They're kind of in the face of their opposition very quickly. And here they come off the backboard. Smeggles is doing a lot of work off that backboard. Catchless cake. His shot's going to go wide. So, they're going to settle in if they can find they get their radar calibrated and get on target they're gonna be fairly uncomfortable to play oh my word cashless cake flew past the ball he got a nice view of it outside his side window as he went past it smeggles pops it up but james from monkey will get there first yeah no worries dog in the wall thanks for stopping by i hope we see you again Um, it's not grey coin, it's grey bucks, and you get it by watching the stream. So the longer you're here, the more grey bucks you earn, and you can also gamble to increase the grey bucks you have. Smeggles, off the wall, he gets the touch, Dara's got work to do, which he does, but Bora's going to bring it right back. The demo might open up a lane, but it doesn't, catchless Kate gets it away. And again, a shot is going to go wide. Haven't found the target yet. A number of shots already, though. How many shots? Five coming from Monkey 100. Nothing from the trash checks just yet. No shots on goal. George Raymond, when you say official, that sounds like it might be a paying position. So is it a paying position? James pops it up. Dara, the explorer. And who is Dara? Which one is here? Because Dara is not playing with that in-game name. Is it Dara, the explorer? Must be. <laughs> you hope so. I need, to, uh, I need to send you on a course in negotiation there, George. Bora looking to get it out. Touch. Oh, man. Monkey 100. So aggressive. So much time in the orange half. Trastix haven't figured out a way to counteract that. And they managed to get into Monkey's half. Put on a little bit of a shot on goal. And then immediately, Monkey 100 send it back. Have done very well with that. But neither team have made it count just yet. A minute to go. We are scoreless. Oh my word. It looks like, we, looks like we've got a spec going down in chat. <laughs> well, you know what? Dara is very, very fortunate. Lots of support. Many cheerleaders. Somebody support the rest of the team. Loose in the middle, frag leg with a soft shot, easily cleared by James. No, don't take away the drama, George. It's a spat. Likely at any moment to turn into a cat fight. 
Again, and still the pressure from Monkey 100, but they haven't made it count. Are we going to see a goalless overtime in game one? Dara putting it in front, but no one can receive the pass for a shot. Dara, one more attempt. James is up, cleared by Bora, and now it should bounce. And we have... And away they go. We're in overtime, and this is only the second kickoff. None coming from a goal just yet. But someone has to break through. Smeggles doesn't get the read. Bora. Oh, my word. A great opportunity to attack. And now it's a 2v2. The shot. The score from Cashless Cake. Oh, my goodness. The miss, though. Bora is going to be kicking himself. Dara with the pass into the middle. Cake with the finish. Monkey 100. Take the game. They have one win in this best of five. We go to Urban Central. Let's go. Wow, Helena, I'm, I'm assuming you don't play Rocket League yourself. Wow, all these people they haven't met, but all friends of Dara. No, he, he was a ginger daddy. All of them, all three of his friends are here. This is game two, Urban Central, Dawn. Let's go, and away they go. Oh, James missing his kickoff altogether. Opportunity! Oh, my word, is that? I think it was. I think it was an own goal. Was it, though? Indeed, it is. That effect didn't work too well. <laughs> Well, if I got all of my friends into a chat to support me, it would be fairly similar. Oh, the demo on the goal line! Doesn't come to anything yet, but this is better from the trash ticks. A little more coordinated in their movement forward. Oh no, but Frank, they can't afford to do that. Dara now looking for the flick. He gets it. Outstanding work from Dara with the flick. He sees it all the way home. Lovely finish. Oh my word, and now suddenly give them one goal and then they get a taste for it. Fragleg losing out badly on the 50. Pops up beautifully for James who makes no mistake. 2-1 to Monkey 100. So technically they've scored all the goals. Passed him on the street. Shot by Smeggles! Finished by Smeggles! Leveled up. And where was all of this action in game one? James with the bad touch on the attempted clear. Bora misses. But Smeggle picks up the loose ball. Says Muncho's grassy ass. And bangs it home. And Trashtick still playing far better than they did in that first game. More aggressive. A lot of whiffs, though, and we see another one there, and that very quickly gets them in trouble, as it might do here again. They do get away with it, but for how long, Fragleg does finally get the clear. Off the backboard, down and dangerous! Dora with the shot, which goes wide! Scrambly and panicky by the trash sticks at the back, but they get away with it, and here they come. But again, a mistake going forward. Gives away possession. Dara! But read by Miggles and cleared. Wow, the pace in this game. Far higher than we saw in game one. 
Cashless. Cleared. Oh, frag leg. He had an open net to shoot at. The rebound down off the crossbar. It's floating on the goal line. And finally, frag leg will see it through. And they regain the lead. Dude, trash ticks. Oh, my word. We've all been there. All panic stations on the goal line. Calling everybody, somebody, anybody. Hit this ball. <laughs> Helena. Rocket League is the easiest, simplest esport you'll ever watch. There's a blue team. That's who your boyfriend plays for. There's an orange team. Oh, another shot, but it's going to be cleared. There's an orange team which your boyfriend does not play for. The blue guys want to score in the orange goal and vice versa. And they want to do it more times in five minutes than the other team. There you go. I've summed up Rocket League for you. So whenever you see a blue car with a blue tag, that's when you're shouting and supporting. And such is Rocket League. Right now, Trash Ticks leading 3-2. Monkey 100 working hard for the comeback. <clears throat> they go boom and go vroom, and there's the boom. Broom and boom. Oh, this is so loose and dangerous. Flag leg, frag leg with a whew, it's very soft touch almost in front of his goal. They have the lead. They want to keep it together now. Dara pops it with the follow. He gets the touch. He's going to need another one. No, he's not. He's going to float under it. And the last man is going to float above it. All of that long, complicated equation means we are level at three all. Wow, we had one goal in overtime in game one. This game, we have been spoiled with so many goals. Three apiece, six in total, and we have a minute and 45 left to go. I reckon we're going to see three more goals before the end. I'd be surprised if any team wins this by more than one. Will we have a second game overtime, though? That'll be pretty epic. James clears it around the corner. Bora popping it into the middle. It looks good. Cashless gets a touch, but it's dangerous. Dara will get the ball away. Oh, and here they come. Only Smeggles left in net, but he does well. Bora after it. Loses out on the possession play. Heck, James bringing it into the middle. Oh, my word. And we have seen both teams do this. Popping the ball invitingly in front of the goal and neither being able to complete. Oh, James with the whiff now. But Dara winning the 50, another floater in front of net. Bora gets the clear into his own corner. James bringing it back round. Oh, phew. It's panicky stuff from both teams. Frag leg now, picking up mid boost, up on the wall. What does he do with this? Nothing. Cashless cake with the clear. Uh, George, judging by your earlier comment, I'm going to pretty much with a 95% degree of certainty say that your services do indeed come for free. Smeggles pops it over one. He's still got control. Ten seconds to go. Pops it over another. But his pass doesn't find a willing shooter. And we are indeed, ladies and gentlemen, going to a game two. Helena, I don't think that's what he meant, but if it's any... Yours are probably also for free. Oh, my word, did I just say that? I apologize. Take it all back. It sounded funny in my head, not when I said it. Bora! Down in the middle. Smeggles! Oh, he's been dispossessed by Dara. If he can get a pass in, that's... Here comes Cashless Cake! X James will get the finish! And for the second game in a row, they finish it in overtime. Wow, Ginger, that's exactly what I want to hear. All the things you would give me for free if circumstances were different. If I were very rich, if I were a billionaire, let's say, I would 
I would I would buy you a house. Monkey 100 take the second game and they're on the cusp and the brink of taking this in a sweep. Can the trash sticks make the comeback? They played much better in game two. If they can extend it into game three, I rate they've got a relatively good chance, a shouting chance of pushing this to game four. Let's go to Forbidden Temple, I think. Forbidden Temple it is. Let's go, Commandos. It's howling time. Ben! Ben Pla! Welcome back to chat. You reckon Ben has faith in the reverse sweep? Now, Ben, I've cast you recently, but was it in was it in IGL or was it in Templar Leagues? I can't remember now. Kickoff goes the way of the Trash Techs. Opportunity for Smeggles. He squanders it. They don't get the early goal that they would dearly have loved. Fragleg, pass into the middle. Smeggles with the touch. James with the save. Bora looking for the rebound and comes down with the crossbar. So damn close, but not in. But all the aggression so far from the Trash Techs. They're going to need this. They're going to need a lot of it. And they're going to need some of it that goes on target. But the shot now smeggles with the touch away. Ah! I remember now. Lyson! Welcome to chat. All right. We got some support in for the trash checks. And they're going to need the support. Fragleg now. Opportunity. Monkeys scrambling back. Bora doesn't get a shot, but he does pop it high. Smeggles loses out to James. And now they've got to scramble back in defense of their own. Oh, oh Dora, the man with all the support in chat, takes the goal for the Monkeys through the pass from Cashless Cake. They lead two games to nothing, one goal to nothing. Looking to take it in a sweep and maintain their 100% win record. Intact. <clears throat> Smuggles looking for the ceiling shot. It was a fake. It was a deception because Bora came in high and while everyone was watching for the ceiling shot they missed Bora's shot one apiece it would be a shame if the trash ticks did not take a game and at least take this to game four Monkey 100 had all the possession and the aggression in game one. They took it in overtime. In game two, Trash Ticks led twice but couldn't hold on and extend. And again, the Monkeys took it in overtime. So despite that, it has been close. It hasn't been a walkover. But on a balance of play, it has been Mon Monkey 100 who probably deserve the lead they have. But the Trash Ticks... I believe have it in them to take one game here. <laughs> Indeedly, Ginger Daddy. Indeedly. <clears throat> when you say we, George, I think you mean you mean you, Helena, and the third cheerleader whose name I can't remember. The rest of us do not need a chant for Dara. Oh, this is high and loose. Can anyone get on the end of it? Another whiff. Bora's going to put it off the corner. <clears throat> but it will be cleared. And now, here come the monkeys. Streaming forward in attack. Dora with the shot. Bora with the save. Frag leg. Oh, you never want to be backwards to the ball trying to defend. Fragleg did just that and popped it up invitingly for the monkeys, but they do get away with it. Oh my word. Several times now, Trastics have gotten it 
gotten the ball forward in a very threatening manner, but their positioning has not allowed them to take advantage of that. No additional player in support to take advantage of the good passes. The threatening plays forward. Smeggles, though, off the backboard. Fragling with the shot. He scores! 2-1 to the Trash Techs. Now, can they hold on? Can they push it to a game four? Surely they must. Ginger, I have noticed that about you, and it's, and it's really fun to see it when we're playing together. Sabri! Uh, this must be tier three. Sabi Chan. Oh, shot, and just like that, Trash Tech's unable to hold on to their lead for more than 12 seconds. We're two apiece, frag leg bumped high and away. He made it all the way to the opposite corner, leaving the net open. The finish, 2-2. Two, two. George, that's a push even for a cheerleader. Cashless cake. Off the ceiling, down in front, he follows his own boom forward. James with the shot. Oh, and hits the post and bounces back in front of the goal. Dara couldn't get there in time, but the ball is still dangerous and threatening. Frag leg with an important touch, preventing another shot. <clears throat> Trash tech scrambling in front of their net, trying to get, a, get it away. And that has been their undoing, certainly in this game and the last game, not being able to hold on to a lead. James looking for the pass. The shot from Dara goes wide. His cheerleaders in chat groan in unison as he fails to secure a lead. He tries again and again he is denied. Bora is not moving. Why? Bora is AFK. This is not going to help the cause of the trash decks. 10 seconds to go. Six, five. Oh, we are going to see a third consecutive overtime unless Cashless K can keep this up. He can't. And for the third time we go to... Bora has left. And the rules dictate that play must continue. The Trastics are going to have to try and win this with two players. If they can prevail somehow, if they can scrape through, we can have a delay and give time for Bora to sort out his connection issues and make it back into the lobby. But somehow, can the Trastics 2v3? Maybe they can! Smeggles tries! But James squeezes it away. Dave plays! You can't join. This is a, it's a private tournament. This is week six of a private tournament. So it's not something I've set up that you can join. Kastler shoots. It's off the back. Fragler gets it away. It's up to the front. And it can be, it can be disconcerting when a player leaves like this. You're not sure as the, as the team with the advantage how to tackle them, how to best beat the team that's under. But that's not a bad way to do it. Bump them out the way. Open up opportunities and lanes. Smeggles though, they're gonna be going they're on extra try-hard mode here as they try and try to win this with a player down. Lemanius, Lemanius Prime, welcome to chat. Wouldn't that be impressive? How long can this overtime go? We're in a minute and twenty already. I believe this is the final week, George, and then we're into playoffs next week. Oh, touch forward by Smeggles. Look threatening, but having no third player to do anything. Cashless looking for the finish. Frag leg doing an admirable job in defense. Oh, man, and now a demo. It is savage and relentless and brutal from the Monkeys, but they are yet in three minutes of Rocket League unable to score against a team that are a player down. Yeah, I will agree. I agree wholeheartedly, Ginger. Now, can somebody get on this, Smeggles? Probably a wise choice to back off rather than try and attack that. Because if he had missed that, he was leaving his net wide open. Frag leg high onto the wall. Smeggles with 15 boost. 100 boost. Can he get it in? No, James is going to clear it away. Yeah, speedster. It sucks, bro. Oh, my goodness. And again, opportunities. If they had the third player. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, that was pixels away from the fairy tale win for the trash ticks. Darren. And the two-man trash ticks doing very well, actually, against... Oh, is he going to get the touchdown off the crossbar? Pixels away. It is so, so close. Are their hearts going to be broken? Because they're playing... Their hearts are in their mouths. The longer this goes on, the more they believe they can get the unlikely win. And then if they don't, it's just hurts all the more. In the meantime, this is giving Bora time to sort out issues. Smeggles, we're into three minutes, three and a half minutes of overtime. The three-man monkey 100 yet to score against the two-man trash ticks. And amazingly enough, it is the trash ticks that have had the better opportunities in the overtime. <laughs> of course you would, Draghetta. Yeah, two down and an open goal. I mean... How much harder could it be? I have been so impressed by the aggression, the possession, and the pressure that these this two-man team have been able to exert on Monkey 100. But it is hard and eventually gets mentally exhausting because you are switched on 100% focus every millisecond of it. And we have almost had a second full-length game of Rocket League in the overtime segment no goal yet oh smeggles bringing it forward again it's going to be off the backboard james will clear and they at this point must feel like they've got everything to lose the pass across is cut out by frag leg and now monkey 100 finally saying you know what maybe let's just slow it down let's be deliberate let's get them out of position run them out of boost and then take the open net and that's probably the smart way to do it and finally the inevitable happens the hearts of the trash ticks get broken by x jamer and for the last 25 35 seconds monkey 100 slowed it right down and just slowly push the trash ticks back until their two-man team just ran out of space, ran out of time, ran out of boost. So Monkey 100 do take it in a sweep. An unfortunate third game where the trash ticks lost a member of their team, but my goodness, they fought hero heroically in that overtime almost a full game of overtime four minutes 51 seconds but they couldn't pull off the unlikely victory so their record will end with three wins and three was losses 50 50 even split monkey 100 however finish up the league portion of the league unbeaten six games six series six series wins well played to them and GG's to the Dara Support Fan Club in the chat. I'm sure your presence went a long way to helping the team. Alrighty, is Speed here? Speed, are you in the chat? Because if you are, you're up. Well, Helena, I hope you will leave from here today a little bit wiser about Rocket League and how it works. But I applaud you for being here and supporting your man in the cauldron of competitive Rocket League. My pleasure, George. Oh, well, I will take that. Thank you very much again, George. And Ginger Daddy doing, doing the job. Thank you. Y'all yeah, smash that, smash the lock button, smash the subscribe. Excellent, that is, you see, now it feels like it's all worth it that you go away from here going, I think I get Rocket League a little more. Come back next time to learn all about half flips and flip resets.
Uh, George Raymond, I wouldn't say exactly like. I can see the similarity. He's, of course, New Zealish. I'm South African. And in many respects, the accents are quite similar. But if you heard us talking together, you know, like when we're on the phone often, you would hear the difference. Thank you, Speedster. All right. Well, we have half an hour to the next game. If Speed is here or Snappy, um, you have redeemed the 1v1. So we can play that now if you're still around. Dara, my pleasure. Especially with your uh, with your cheerleaders in the chat, it was fabulous. An absolute pleasure, James. Well played. Yippee ki yay, motherfucker! Oh God. Okay, Eric Schroeder has redeemed pimp my ride. So let's have it. Let's have it, Eric. What do you want? What's your pleasure? What do you want me to ride for the rest of the stream? Random. Okay, so you just want me to do a random preset. Okay, let's do it. Garage. Create new preset. Um, how do I randomize again? I forgot how to randomize. Randomize! A randomized preset. There it is. So there you go. Holy shit balls. I hope you're happy, Eric. I hope you're happy. My goodness. Uh, Laminus, I'd have to know how to do a flip reset in order to give the tutorial. <laughs> Not bad. What are you talking about, Ginger? Let's see if I can do anything in this car. Well, hold on. What's the name of this car, first of all? Jesus, Eric. Aftershock. Okay. Let's see if I can flick. What, what hitbox does this car have? And what goal explosion did I get? Oh, <laughs> I've disabled goal explode, the goal. Oh my word. Oh no. There we go. I think I got the flip, but I didn't do anything with it. Okay, you know what? I guess I guess to do justice to the uh, to Eric redeeming this, I have to go and play. A, I'm gonna go and play a competitive game. Competitive, no, I'll do competitive 1v1. There you go. Competitive 1v1 dressed like this. I don't know what flag that is. Ghana, maybe. Hold on. Well, let's see. Yes, it is Ghana. No, it's not. I think that's a Caribbean island like uh, Trinidad and Tobago or something. You're laminous. That's definitely not something to brag about.
Oh no! Oh my god, I just feel like it's constant panic. Oh, what have I done? Dominus hitbox, that seems so weird for this car. With that really pointy front. Oh no! All in the tail. Yeah, that feels dominous. Oh no, the miss. Not too bad. I, I wanted to show the replay so you could see my car. Because it's... Oh no, I shouldn't have run away. Yes! Nice! Hey, hey! It's Ballroom Blitz! Ballroom Blitz! Ah, oh, San Tome and Principe, African nation. Oh, look at that flick! Look at that flick! Okay, I'm showing the replay. What a save, I'm on fire in the aftershock. I, I am on fire! There we go, there we go. I kicked ass, I took names. Shoo! Okay, so while well, someone's mentioned the wacky tournament, that's tomorrow night. I'm not going to reveal 
what the wacky 1v1 will be, but it is a 1v1 tournament with very interesting mutators. That is at 8 o'clock tomorrow night, 8 o'clock my time, 6 p.m. GMT, 7 p.m. BST, 8 p.m. CET, and then some other time in America. No, no one gets to practice. You just have to show up and, and, and eat what you're served. Eat what we damn well give you. That's how it works. <laughs> yeah, but it's all good. It keeps, keeps you on your toes. And I, I haven't settled on, because I spent quite a bit of time today testing various mutators, and I think I've settled on the one I like. Um, but that may change tomorrow because I'll go through it again. But I like it. I like it. Uh, yes, that is. You are correct, Dragetta. That is correct. All right. So let me set up the th third and final series. This one, this one is our low-level tournament. The Winkles up against the Lab Rats. This is sort of plat, plat level, mid, mid, mid plat range, which I'm quite excited to cast because this means it's new Rocket League players putting themselves out there in competitive Rocket League, which is pretty awesome. And having it cast, you know, most I think that's really, really cool. Um, well, I'm going to be casting, I'm going to be casting for IGL in the summer circuit. So I will be available for your games. So you're going to a twos format. That's pretty groovy. Twos is my favorite playlist. Not that I haven't mentioned that before. So this will be the Winkles up against Lab Rats. Okay. Main reveal. What are you talking about, Lam Lamanius? Main reveal what? Oh, nice one, Dragetta. Get him ready. Get him ready. You did miss it, Ballroom. Oh, nice one. That's probably not a bad way to go, Ballroom. I like it. Twos and Rumble. How do you play? I don't, I don't understand the extra modes or playing them competitively. Literally, the only time I play extra modes is when there's challenges surrounding them and then I have to play them. All right, so I'm going to hit 1,900 subs not too, not too soon, very shortly. When I hit 1,900, I'm then going to have the 12-hour stream to see if I can get the final 100 to 2K. So I hope you'll join me for that. Um, I've come to like hoops. I used to hate hoops. Now I kind of like it. That's as far as I'm willing to go. So I have, so slowly but surely, we're settling on themes for the stream. So every two weeks, we do Wacky 1v1 on a Thursday, the design contest on a Tuesday. I need themes for the Tuesday and Thursday streams in the off weeks. So maybe one stream will just be 1v1s. 1v1s with whoever wants to play, maybe. I don't know. I'm trying to think of what we can do. Hello, Red Flash. 
slipping into chat to do a bit of gambling, I see. The full 12 out, well, it'll definitely be over a weekend So f for a start. <clears throat> so Red Flash rocks up in the stream, gambles 49, and then <whistles> vanishes into the wind. And of course she wins. Oh. 3v3 rumble without boost. Wow. Okay, fine. A lurker then. That's okay. Th those we welcome with open arms. How does Ballroom Blitz only have 200 grey bucks? All right, what time is it? Okay, so I'm going to play. Should I play one more 1v1? In my Aftershock. Why not? Well, you're not completely po, but you've got a ways to go to be rich. Okay, one more 1v1 in the Aftershock, and then we can get going on the final series for the night. And I'm sad that Snappy left the chat because he redeemed a 1v1 with me, and then now he's not here. Um, I, I beg to differ, Eric. Your opinions are not without merit, but I might have to make an executive decision on this. But I'm doing okay with it. It must be infuriating to get beaten by a car looking like this. And I'm going to make him watch the replays just so he tilts. Because you look at that and you go, how the hell? And he's riding, he's out there riding his stock tape. Damn it. <laughs> Laminous indeedly. But I've let him come back though. Oh no, my ping, my ping, my ping. Thank you. Ah, fuck, he got the boost. Doesn't matter. Who's this for schmucks?
I'm a boost missing specialist. There we go. There we go. Oh god, it was a multi-kill. Oh, he's going to be in trouble now. Oh, he's hanging in there. I was hoping for the rage quit. Yeah, I shouldn't have been dodging in there, though. Okay, you can have the boost. Ah, oh, I thought I got above him. Damn it. Ryan the Lion, where have you been? So good to... So good to see you. Okay, I've got the lead. No need to push and be reckless. For EG like that. While well, busy with school. Sounds like a legit excuse. That was so good! That was so good! Aftershock. Isaac the King, how's it? So I'm not sure what your hmm is all about. Hmm, because I seem I'm, I seem too shit to be Diamond One? Or hmm, because wow, he looks like a champion player. Look at all these challenges I can claim on. Fabulous. Done all the challenges. Thank you very much, Eric. Okay, let's set this next thing up. <coughs> okay, so. Let's set this lobby up.
And... What color are they? <laughs> Statics, I'm not surprised, bro. It's the same here. And the winkles are... Ricks. And hello, Statics. Good to see you. Okay. <clears throat> I think that because I make the guy watch the replay when I score and then when he sees what I'm driving, I mean, can you imagine if you were playing that? You go, how am I losing to this complete rubbish? Strategy and everything. All right. So as soon as the teams arrive, we can get going. I think it's a 2v2 if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm just going to double check that. Oh, it doesn't say here. Well, that's not helpful. But it will say here. No, it's a 3v3. The Winkles versus the Lab Rats. So let me tell you about the teams that are about to play. So the Winkles, who are going to be blue, are all from Norway. They're all 25. And it's Diamond 3, Plat 2, and Diamond 1. So that's the level. It's Rex, Zaprar, who I'm going to call Zap, and Jesper. Up against Lab Rats, who are all from England. They haven't said how old they are. They didn't want to say. And they're Plat 1s and a Silver 2. So underdogs. And they have won two, lost three. The Winkles have won three and lost one. So on paper, the Winkles should be taking this. And the Winkles are in. So we're just waiting for Lab Rats to arrive. What? Ginger? Doesn't matter if you're shy, then be shy on stream. There's nothing wrong with that. I think you should do it. Are you going to do Twitch? It will be interesting. Plats and diamonds. Plats and diamonds. Now, I asked a question from Isaac the King. You didn't answer. You said, really? Mm, like you were disappointed. And I, I was interested in to know what you meant by that. So Isaac the King, if you're still here, keen to get an answer. And if you didn't, if you didn't hit the like button yet, now's a good time. I'd like to get the likes up. This is my self-promotion 15 seconds. So if not yet done, I'd like everybody what's in chat that didn't yet hit the like button to do that. Bro, can I apply for Winkles? I'm very speeding. Um, sure. I'll give you the guy's Discord. You can go and apply. All right. We're waiting for one guy. The dark side of the panda. Rix. Patrick. Jesper. 
Oh, so Patrick, whose name is actually... So we have Brown Bear. He had a weird name like Zap or something. He's now going by Patrick. Fair enough. And Rex. And then for... RTS, which is the Rats. Brown Bear. And the Dark Side of the Panda. And now... Hobbazar has joined. Excellent. We have a game, people. Let's go, Commandos. It's howling time. Game one of this best of five. The Winkles in blue, the Lab Rats in yellow. I'll repeat in orange. And away they go. Patrick with the follow and the shot and the immediate goal. The Winkles. Rex killing the ball of kickoff. Patrick with the cheat. Bangs it over the dark side of the panda. And Hobbazar flying in the air. Can't get in the way of it. The Winkles are here to play. Rex doing very well on his kickoffs. Jesper, but a defensive work to do. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right, 10 seconds, two goals, one on each side. Lab Rats and Winkles leveled up. That's a little bit of chaos out there. We might just be in for a goal bonanza. Jasper banging that off kickoff. Brown Bear with the punt upfield. Intercepted by Patrick going nowhere in particular. Oh, I remember this style of Rocket League. I miss it so much. Your only priority was hit the ball and hit it hard. Patrick gets his second. Patrick, the man is on fire. Banging it past two in defense. The Winkles back in the lead. Jesper getting it over the dark panda or the dark side of the panda. Jesper, can he get it in front? No. Brown Bear gets the clear. Popped high up. Oh, it's awkward and dangerous off the backboard. Jesper goes up for a shot, takes his eye off the ball, looks at the goal. When he looks back at the ball, it's at the back of him. Patrick. Oh, he's still on fire. But this time the entire car is on fire and he has to respawn. Dark side of the panda playing goalie. He's hanging back. Hobbazar bangs it forward. Ricks into the middle. Brown Bear with the save. All right, the Winkles definitely... Uh, Pretty aggressive out there. And you'd expect it to be there, the higher ranked team. Oh, Rex looking for a double. That would have been spectacular. Can anybody stop this man, Patrick, with his third? Maybe we should get him to enter the design contest next week. I gotta have a closer look. Ooh, that does look good. That should definitely enter the design contest. I'm gonna ask him. Ooh, that would get some votes for sure. I like it. Good catch there, Lemon. Lemanius. Or Lamanius. I don't know what you prefer. But in the meantime, back on the field. The Lab Rats only behind by two. They still got time to bring it back. The dark side of the Panda definitely likes to camp in the final third and try and keep things under control. Struggling a little bit with it. An opportunity now, surely. Rex with the booming clear forward. And of course, the Dark Panda keeping things, keeping a watch on the goal line.
and it's and it's tough to analyze this because there's lots of advice to give but you know it's like oh my goodness the dark side of the panda faking on his attempted clear in the goal it's heading back Brown Bear is awkward in the net. He's been bumped. Jesper can't finish. Brown Bear, I think, just needs to hit it straight. Where's that ball gone? It's gone all the way. They're only behind by one. Llama. Okay, cool. Llama's good. I can go with that. I know how to say Llama. And they're off. Jesper clanging the kickoff. Rex, can he get the pass in? No. It's intercepted. Cleared away. Dark side of the panda. Looking for the clear. Makes it back to his goal line. That's where he's most comfortable. Can he turn in Tommy Khan? We're all sucked into the gravity bomb through the work of Jesper. And it's back to a two-goal game. Hey, Kyle. How are you? Um, this is, it's like Platt Diamond. There is one silver on the field. I think that's the dark side of the panda. Oh, Brown Bear off the kickoff. Oh, it's going to be cleared away by Jesper. Hoppers are with the follow. This is awkward. Nice clear off the backboard by Jesper. Good guess, Kyle. Good guess. Hoppers are with the catch. Nice catch. Rex in the fire, Fennec. Oh, this is awkward, but Hobbazar will get the clear. Rex now in front. Oh, Hobbazar with the 50, but it's dangerous. Jesper can't quite get it on target. Oh, right in front, Brown Bear booms it forward. What can he do with this? Tries to get in front, but Rex clears him by some distance. Brown Bear. Habazar's got a chance now. He chooses to put it on the backboard. Brown Bear, last man in defense, doesn't get it. And Rex will take it all the way to the other side. 19 seconds to go. 5-2. The Winkles in charge here. Looking to extend their win streak to four wins, one loss. Labrats, what can they do? How do they respond? They're going to lose this game. But they got a bit of time. They got a game two and, if needed, a game three to figure it all out. Oh, look at this. Dark side of the panda looking to dribble. Almost pulls it off, but is dispossessed. Rex now trying to get the last second goal. Can the Lab Rats finish off with a motivating goal? The consolation? They can't. It's going to bounce. Lab Rats go down in the first game. The Winkles take game number one. We go, um, hold on, I need to see, one of these teams didn't want to play one of the maps, I need to check which that is. Lab Rats and the Winkles, no, we're all good. Let's go to Forbidden Temple. Let's do it. I'm gonna llama. I'm gonna say maybe. And they're off. Game number two. Patrick dominating the kickoff. Hobazar gets the clear. Rex trying to catch it. It goes over him. Hobazar has an opportunity, but. Pretty much passes it to Jesper, who can clear it back to the orange side. Oh, nice one by Brown Bear. Can someone get it in the middle? An open net on the other side. But in the meantime, the Winkles have gotten back to defend. Rex, oh my word. How close was that to an own goal? The back pass by Brown Bear. Habazar pops it into the middle. The dark side of the panda trolling. Pops it up.
Brown Bear passes into the middle. Jesper pops it high. Who follows? Oh, dark side of the panda doing well to get a touch away from his net. But they're under pressure on the lab rats. They're scrambling in front of their goal line. They're going to want to get it away. Get them, get themselves into an attacking frame of mind. Maybe that begins now. Habazar passes it back. Dark side of the panda with the shot. Is it going to come down off the ceiling? And then no. And Rix gets the clear. Maybe I should be pronouncing that Rixk. 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 Maybe that's it. I'm going to go with that. Rixk. Rixk. It is now Rixk with the shot to save by the dark side. Who's the best Fennec? Well, there's lots of them. But best from what point of view? In terms of play, in terms of design. I think Rixk by far. Two minutes down, no goal yet. Lab rats holding their own, looking for their opportunity to break through while the Winkles bring attack after attack and Patrick has had enough. He gets his first of this game. Pops up into the air from midfield all the way in 111 Ks an hour. He banged it and banged it good. 1-0 to the Winkles. The Lab Rats clearly the underdogs. How I would love for them to pull off something crazy here and, and pull, on, pull off an upset win. Okay, the double commit and attack. Patrick now, after his goal, finds himself doing defensive work and doing it very well. The back pass off the wall. Rex with the shot is going to hit the post. It's still high and dangerous. Habasar gets it over. Rix is rushing back to his goal. Back into defensive position. He gets there. Gets the clear. Dude. I started playing Rocket League in 2015. The highest level you could get to then was 75 when you became a Rocketeer. I did that twice and still couldn't aerial. The dark side is up the wall, but he's beaten to it by Jesper. The pass round the corner. Everybody's converging on the ball and it squirts out wide into the orange corner. Asset.com. What's up? It is indeed howling time and we are howling. Rex, he's up in the air. He shoots. He scores. Putting it away for the Winkles. And the Winkles absolutely looking like the stronger of the two teams there. Dominating in the, in the pressure and possession department. And paying off with their second goal. Balls high and loose. Dark side of the panda choose to pull up, chooses to pull back. Maybe smartly, wisely. Jesper with the back touch. Rex now gets it over one. Hobazar, Jesper. It's one touch per team right now. Brown Bear, can anyone get the follow? Brown Bear is up, but it's Patrick who gets there first. Oh, Acid, those were the days, weren't they? I think I must have played Rocket League for a year and a half before I even heard of the concept. Oh, is this going to be a goal? It is! Jesper gets the third. Everyone on the team has had a chance at the goal. One for every member of the team. Pass into the front by Rix. The entire Orange team racing back to the ball. Couldn't get there for the save. So after about a year and a half, I heard someone while I was playing um, and we were talking and I think in those days we used to talk on team speak or something. And this guy said, yes, there are people who can dribble, who can air dribble. And I said, what do you mean? They said, no, like they fly and they like touch the ball, touch the ball. And he explained air dribbling. And I was like, 
I actually couldn't believe that that existed. I hadn't even discovered Rocket League on YouTube yet. It was quite amazing. And just the thought of being able to, never mind touching the ball just once in the air, but multiple times. Freak me out. Oh, it's going to be his own goal. Dark side of the panda gets the credit. He hits the shot in and comes off either the post or Jesper, and then Ricks bags it in. For the own goal, but in the end, it's not going to matter because the Winkles will take game number two. As we head on over to now Tokyo. Actually, I went back. Oh, no, there it is. Neo Tokyo it is. Let's go, Commandos. It's howling time. Can the Lab Rats cause an upset and take game three and push the Winkles back? Make them sweat a little bit. Because right now, perhaps the Winkles think they're getting it all their way. Can the Lab Rats show them that they don't? Well, I wouldn't say it's like me. I'm still amazed when I do it, you know. We're, even in free play, if I if I get an air dribble, I'm like, holy balls, look what I can do. Oh, early attempt, early pressure from the Winkles. Doesn't come off. Oh, an opportunity now. Oh, he was looking for the rebound. He gets demolished. Who's that? Oh, Kronovi, he's my man. Oh, who just redeemed the drink? I missed who did it. Oh, shot. It's going to go wide. It's going to have to wait till after this game. I forgot to bring the alcohol. I'm sorry. I'll get it now. Oh, Eric Schroeder redeemed it. Good man. Using all those gambling bucks well, I see, Eric. Patrick. Well, that rat's hanging in there. If they can take a lead, perhaps... Perhaps they can get the Winkles starting to sweat about what they do and how they take the game. Because they'll have a little bit of nerves because they obviously want to win it in a sweep. So hopefully the Lab Rats can recognize that and take advantage. What a nice pop into the middle. But Rex is going to get the clear. Ooh, ooh, it's loose, it's loose. Hobbazar with the back pass. Jesper looking to bring it first. Cut up by Brown Bear. Opportunity now. He's got the boost. He's going to have to pull off an aerial. It's still dangerous. Somebody, oh, the dark side of the panda comes screaming in, but he can't find the touch to get the shot on target. Wow, Acid, that's amazing. He is still my favorite player. I hope he gets back into competitive Rocket League soon. He's the original poster boy for Rocket League. That guy's amazing. That, oh, my God, it's a scramble. The Winkles are under pressure. A lot of time in their half. And, uh, oh my god, no! Oh my word, that looked like it was going in, but Brown Bear, maybe I've got to give him a bit more credit, clearing it through his far side corner. What? Acid with who? Oh, the dark side of the panda! He shoots, he scores, he puts the lab rats in front! Nicely done, nicely executed. Jesper sitting there like a deer in the headlights not sure what to do and he could only watch the ball sail over him into the net oh acid that is such good news thanks for telling me that i was like you've made my night god i hope he does well i hope he comes out there and shows everybody patrick Every single game, Patrick has scored first for the Winkles, and he does it again. Unfortunate for the Lab Rats, unable to hold on to and extend their lead. It is 1-1 with exactly half the game left to play. He shoots, he scores, okay. The Lab Rats have been holding on for so long. 
But now Rex going all the way with the solo goal. Puts the Winkles in front. The Lab Rats are up against it. They got two minutes left. They have scored once. They can do it again. Can they do it twice? We'd all love for them to do it twice. Push this to a game four. Dark side of the panda. And Lab Rats have, as a team have looked so much better. In the first game, Panda was spending all his time on the goal line. Pretty much camping out there. No! Oh, lovely work in defense. Panda and Brown Bear combining to get it out. Nice work. But they've looked so much better with him more in attack. They've looked a little bit more threatening. And is a better player than you would assume with his early goal camping. So good to see him out in attack. Hopefully you see more of it. And this has put Patrick so awkward. And just as I'm singing his praises, it's as if I had a crystal ball. The dark side of the panda levels it up for the Lab Rats. Pioneers or Alpine? I don't like either of those teams, but I will like them now. So, the Lab Rats with a bit of a spring in their step. Oh no! That is so unfortunate. One minute to go. They left their goal completely open. Rex saw that and had no hesitation in just banging it the entire length of the court into the open, unprotected, undefended Lab Rats goal. I'll definitely support whatever team he goes to. That'll be my new favorite team. Brown Bear with the long, booming, clear forward. Hobazar looking to do something nice. Work around the corner. That's high in front. Patrick, very ambitious off the back wall. Doesn't pull it off. They're still in offense. 35 seconds to go. Let's have that goal now. Yes! Hobazar, can he finish? No, it comes off the backboard. So close. A scramble in front of the net. Doesn't work out for the Lab Rats. They're running out of time. 25 seconds to find a way through. Push this game to a game four. Hubbazar gets it past one. He gets it past two. The net's open. Oh my goodness. How did they not score? All of them were behind the ball. No one from the Winkles behind, and they couldn't put it in. Brown Bear Rex with a block twice in a row. One second to go. Do we have the zero second goal? We do not. The Winkles take it in a sweep. They end the season. Four wins, one loss. The Lab Rats will have learnt a lot this season, we hope, and that we'll see them again next season in the IGL. Because there's a lot of potential there. Well played, the Winkles. Well played, the Lab Rats. But the Winkles are the winners of tonight's final series. All right, ladies and gents, I think, okay, give me one second. I'm going to be right back because I owe somebody something. So give me one minute. Hello, I'm back, and I don't know what random voice I'm on. Every time I go away and come back, voice mod gives... It's the Android voice! And I'm back now. I went to go and fetch this. My milk tapped. Drink. Shot. 
Eric Schroeder redeemed it. So Eric, bottoms up. Thank you very much. This is for you. I'm definitely going to send a message to Rex. He's got to bring that. He's got to bring that Fennec to the design contest. It did look pretty damn sick. All right, fine. That's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen, for the stream. Thank you to everyone who came by. Thank you, Cody, for the super chat. Really, really appreciate the support, and everyone who subscribed. I don't think we had two. How many did we have tonight? I think we had like three subscribers. Maybe one. It wasn't a lot, but we're getting closer and closer to 1900. Thanks to everybody, as always, for coming to hang. I will be back tomorrow night for Wacky 1v1 Tournament. It's going to be epic and awesome. So come and play. Prizes to be won, as always. But for now, peace. I'm out. Shall we play a game?